All right, everybody. So welcome back. Uh, I'm CD Michael again here. Um, this is part two of my setup. Um, so, anyways, I finally added the final layer of the underlying substrate, and I'm about to add the reptile bark now. Uh, all this stuff right here, you see. This uh, this will probably make sure that he doesn't get into any any substrate into his pool. Um, like I said, I want to add some fish in here. I'm hoping that a layer of this will hide any view of the fish from him, just until. I can put some in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're gonna watch me put the substrate, the last part of the substrate in, and then we'll do final setup. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I've added the final layer. You see this really thick layer of of the other stuff, of the plantation soil, and the reptile bark sitting on top of that. Got a few splinters in my hand. It hurts, but oh well, they hurt. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna go on now to the final setup of this uh, wondrous thing that I call the half land, half base, half water terrarium setup. So let's go ahead and start up with that. So right now I'm adding his climbing log. He always seems to really enjoy climbing in, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna test right now see if I can close the lid with it. Nope, it still sits, it sits a little too high. So I'm starting to realize, okay, it's sitting a little too high. This might actually do it. Put it right there, like that. That way it has a little bit of a perch. I'm hoping that when I put this guy in the water over here, this right here will add up another. little thing for him so yeah plus this gets the fish any, any fish I have a place to swim in when they, when they, when they want to place to swim around under and all that and there we go that is now fully submerged in there as you can see it's got a little bit of tunnel in there so the fish can swim in and out when they want to and I am now going to continue adding all the stuff into it so that is set up in there. Now I'm going to add up, add in the other setup, initial setup stuff, which I had. I found out which part was in the sand, which part was not. Okay, I figured that out. And so this is going in the water like that. As you can see, it's going to go in the water just like this. All right. I put that in the ground like that, buried it up. I put, these in the, I put this in the rocks and that gets buried up in there like that. Just to make it look like, okay, that vine's been growing there the whole time. Alright, second vine is probably going to go in, next, like right now. So this vine right here, this vine right here is going to go in. And what you want to do is put this, in a, situate this in such a way that your animal will not be disturbed by it at all. And this is going to be the one that's growing on the dry area. Of the vine. Now you also want to make sure that you leave enough space in there on it for your other plants and animal for your other plants to hide up the rest of the wires. So like I said, I have this one sitting in there like that. All right, this one is sitting there like that. Maybe bury it up to there. Can't barely moves. All right, the other section of the thing I'm going to add is this right here. It's going to go right here. All right, it's going to go right on this side right here. That way I can add another area to put my vine. Another vine in there. Alright, so yeah. Here we go with it. All you gotta do to make this thing stick is dip it a little bit in some water. Some moisture, you know. Add a little bit of moisture to it. And then figure out how to place it in here. So that it actually sticks really well to the surface. And so far it's giving me some grief. So I don't know what the heck's going on, but it's giving me a little bit of grief. Maybe because there's a little too much moisture on the area that I'm trying to stick to, or too little. But, anyways. 
I'm hoping it will stop sliding and just do what I want it to do. Which is that. That is what I want it to do. Alright? As you can see, I there is no more there is no flooding anymore. I'm happy about I'm happy to report that the flooding has subsided and that there is no more flooding. And because if there was, I would have be seen it right by now, and I'm not. So that's good. That's a plus sign on my half. On my side over here. Alright? This right here is just another plant that I'm gonna hang from right here. And that's gonna hang in the water. And that right and this plant right here is gonna hang right here in the water. Like that. A little bit. It's gonna hang out right there. Okay? This right here is the bromeliad. Now the cool thing about this bromeliad is it's waterproof, so all I gotta do is put a little bit of water in here, and drop it right into the surface, and then place this bromeliad just about anywhere I want to. And I'm choosing to do it right, right about here. And I can angle it any which way I want and jam it right into that rock. Alright, second thing I'm adding is this right here. This is a taro plant. Alright, so the little taro plant, fake plants. Always use fake plants in these guys' aquariums. In these guys' aquariums because if you have real plants, like I said before, they will tear them up. Water dragons as active, are really active lizards, so they need a lot of stuff to climb on. And live plants are just not the best thing to do. Alright, so this a little idea. So we're so we're just doing a little set the setup right now. As you can see, a little bit of a setup right there like that. Alright? That's all set up in there now. That's cool. That's looks really cool. And I'm gonna keep it at that. So yeah. So far no water leakage is happening in my turn. That's I'm double checking again. I'm always double checking, see if there's any puddling. If I see any puddles come popping up, I know I have an issue. But so far I don't seem to be having an issue at all. So that is a plus sign on me. That is a plus sign for me that this stuff that I put in here is not is working and is not leaking anywhere. That's a good thing. That's that's a really good thing on my half. I'm happy to report that I don't see any water forming up anywhere or leaking up. Or well, I would have seen it by now, so that's a good thing. So next thing I'm adding is this vine right here. You'll see me add this vine in. I've done it a hundred times before in the past. I just have to figure out where do I want this vine. That is the, that is the main thing of the day. Where do we want the vine? And the vine is going to stick right over here. So let's see. I just curl the vine around. I just, all I have to do is curl this around like that. Hang it right there. It's okay. And all right. So I have the vine set up right here, as you can see my new vines. The next one going in is going to be this plant right here. This plant right here is going to go once again on the land. Because, like I said, tropical animal, they need a lot of tropical space to crawl around in. So, lots of fun to crawl on. So you just place the plant where you think it's going to look real pretty. And I think it's going to look real pretty right there. The next thing I'm going to set up is this right here and I'm going to set it up so that it goes over the land over the, so it goes somewhat over the water but also onto the land so you want to I set it up like right here so I'm using this giving me some grief again so I'm going to set it so the leaf will get out of the way alright I'll set it up like that all in all, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hide the cord for the filter. Alright? So that's what I'm trying to do. Next one going in is going to be this one right here. It's a really long one. And that's going to go over here in the cord. Do the fact that that's where I want it to go. And so, yeah. This, the whole thing is centered around where you place these things. Alright? So it's upside down. So I know that I did something wrong here. I think it's sitting upside down. So I didn't like that. Uh, it was upside down. And now I got that right there. And part of it is going to definitely hang in the water. 
and I'll show you a little bit of motion. A little bit of motion. Finally, the last plant to go in is this right here, and then and the setup will be complete, and then I'll get the little guy in. All right. So yeah, here we go. Final part of setup is about to happen. I'll place this plant probably over here in this corner right here. Get a little place for him to crawl up out of the water if he wants to. but I'll do it over here like that all right and that is final setup of this terrarium this terrarium is now complete hopefully such a couple stay on and final setup is now complete the setup is done we are done this is awesome all right so I'm gonna bring you over now and I'll show you the, the final setup so the final setup is this. I just got we just as you saw we just got done, so it's awesome. I'm really happy about this. This is my most favorite thing I've ever done in my life. Besides setting up her enclosure. Her enclosure was really fun too. I gotta clean it up in there though, so I'm not showing you hers right now. Because she's also asleep. But anyways, like I said, I'm checking right now. You check down here, you see all the reptile bark down here, which indicates he's gonna be able to jump down here and dig around in it all he wants. And all this moisture right here. This is telling you how much moisture is in there. You see all this moisture right here? All this right here. That's good. That's just humidity. That's not, that has nothing to do with water leakage or anything like that. That's just the humidity in there. Um, so I know that I fixed my problem. So that's awesome. And the, another cool thing is, yes, he will be able to view the fish, but he won't have a go at him. At least he'll be able to see them a little bit. But most of the time, I think the fish are going to remain down below, they don't want to go anywhere up here or down here. They want to be down here where all the sand is, where all the hiding hiding spots are at, and all that stuff. So yeah, we got this set up. I'm hoping that when I get my fish, they'll stay put, and uh, everybody will be okie dory in here. All right, we'll be all happy, and I'm really hoping so. So anyways, let's go get the little guy and see how he's doing, because he's right over here, and I think he's real anxious to get in his new home. So yeah, I'm really anxious to get him in his new home. He's been outside of his home for an hour now while I set this thing up. It took me about two hours to even set it up right. So let's go ahead and bring him out. So here's the little guy. Of course he changes colors. And of course he wants he really wants out of here. So okay, we're bringing him out right now. Alright little guy. Okay, hey, 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 come here. Come here. You're okay. You're okay. And you see, little guy's real. Really, really happy. Can you see my little cutie? He's this little cutie. I think he's a male. Because his crest is getting really pronounced. So it's definitely a male. And so Tianwen here, he is just now checking you guys out. Oh, yes, he is. So I'm bringing him in up close and personal. He's seeing what's up to the world. Aren't you Tianwen? Yes, you are. Okay, he's checking everything out. He's going, what the heck's going on here? I'm going to go ahead and we're going to place him in his terrarium. In his terrarium now. Oh, hopefully he wants to get down on his new terrarium, but if he doesn't, he doesn't. I think he wants to stay on my arm, which is hilarious. I'm going to put the camera down right now and uh, put him up. Alright, so hold on a minute while I do that. This is really hilarious, right, that he doesn't want to... He likes to chill on my arm. That's just how... That's just how he is. He's just a really cutie pie. So excuse me when I put the camera down real fast here. We'll keep an eye on him and all that. Oh, sorry about that. A little bit shaky. I almost dropped the camera. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, yeah. So here we go. This little guy in his room now. And I will, I will close the lid like so. Of course, I got to put his food dish in here. I forgot all about that. This food dish had one more.
I'm not gonna let him get out like that. He needs to get used to it. I want him to get used to this. So I'm placing this food dish in such a manner that he'll be able to see it easily. And all that other jazz. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to put in there? What did I do with this calcium dish? There was a calcium dish in here. Oh, it's right over here in the kitchen. And he kicked up a lot of... He got a lot of water in it, so I'm going to... Put a whole new thing of calcium. A whole new set thing of calcium in here. Which, uh, luckily for him, I have a little bit left. Which is enough for him. I always put a little bit of calcium in, in a bowl for him. So if he wants extra calcium, he can lick it up. So, yeah. He's exceptionally happy with his new surroundings. Or he wouldn't have dived into this water the way he did. But anyways, you can go ahead and place that right here. Close that down. Close it down over here like that too. Make sure that he can't get up. And I can put this right over here now. This right here is now the final setup. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the movie, the video. So please like and subscribe uh, below. Please leave any comments too. I'll probably respond to them if you guys like what the setup is. So once again, here's the setup. Then. The vinyl setup, lights and everything, he's right over there, and this has been a wonderful experience for me. It's taken me a few days, the last few times it was a disaster, but I finally have this down. And so, finally, I am completed with this, with this entire thing, and I am extremely happy with it. So this is, once again, MCD Reptiles, Michael Davis, signing off, peace.